Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormax Search and Destroy Weapons DLC video. Now in this video we're going to be checking out this Ballistic Calculator Sample Vehicle. Now on this vehicle there is two different examples and you're probably thinking well what the heck is a Ballistic Calculator? For those of you that don't know, a Ballistic Calculator will go and measure your distance and calculate the angle of your gun depending on what it needs to hit its target. Now if you don't have one of these you might find yourself if you're shooting at long ranges that your weapon always goes and hits the ground way before the target. So what this little calculator does is it calculates that and will adjust the angle of your gun and will go make sure that you always hit your target depending on any type of range. Now we've got two different examples we're going to be checking out. There is a basic and there is an advanced. We're also going to be having a look at my own ballistic calculator that I built once we got the weapons DLC on Stormworks. Now heads up, mine is nothing fancy, mine is very basic. And uh, at the time, I didn't have any stats or velocities or anything like that. So we'll see how mine does in comparison to these fancy ones over here. Now, the creator has gone and obviously added a lot of logic in terms of my controllers and checking flight distance and velocity and all these other kind of calculations. Whereas mine just works on velocity. And how did I figure that out? Just by testing. We didn't have any documentation. We still don't, which I really think the devs need to give us like official documentation for velocities and things like that. Uh, whereas this creator has, I'm guessing, figured it out somehow, maybe by measuring it or by getting some type of XML and finding out. Uh, but we haven't got anything official from the developers yet. Possibly maybe because they're still tweaking it. I'm not too sure. I can't confirm. I can't tell you guys because I don't even know. So we're going to test this out. Uh, let's go and test mine out. Now mine, as I said, works very simply. It measures the distance and you go and enter in your velocity of your round. So I know the battle cannon has roughly around... 500 meters per second so i'm going to be using that uh in my calculations here so once i've gone that i can go and elevate my gun depending on wherever i want so we can zoom in and as you can you see can you see how i'm moving this gun as i've moved it to a further away target the gun is actually elevated if i go to a closer target have a look at the actual barrel see how the barrel has gone down so it will calculate the elevation for you so let's go and zoom in on, let's say over here, I'm gonna stop the gun from moving and let's fire around. As you can see, pretty much almost identically on target. Whereas now, if we go even further, so what are we doing now? 2000 meters and we go and fire around. Let me just wait for my gun to stop moving and fire around off. You can see here that we should get pretty much on point, which we did, okay? So this is the joy of using a ballistic calculator. Now, as I said, mine is nothing fancy. It's very, very basic. So I'm guessing these ones are going to be much better. So let's go and fire one more round, close range, and there we go. Cool. So it does work. You can get a very basic one like mine. Let's go and check out this creator's one. Now, this one is much more advanced, and that's not even the advanced one. Uh, so this basic one allows you to actually click on the controller and edit what type of round you've got. The creators loaded in all the different velocities in here, which uh, is quite nice. You don't have to do any manual calculations like I did. Uh, this does all the figuring out for you. They've also accounted for the travel time or the tick uh, for each round, which is also quite interesting. So let's go and jump on this. Uh, let's go and fire a couple rounds, maybe just quite nice and close, nothing special. We're gonna zoom in and let's fire a couple rounds here. Let's see how well this does. And as you can see, pretty much smack on target. But if we were to go and elevate it and go a little bit further, so now we're at what, 2,000? Go put a couple rounds. We should hit on target. And there you go. Hit, 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 hit. So this does a really good job, actually, on calculating your distance. Really good. Once again, you can see as we went through here, see, look at the, the barrel. See how it goes and depresses itself or elevates itself, depending on the distance. Yeah, so once again, a couple rounds. Nice on target. Same thing goes here. A couple rounds on target. Very nice. Very easy. And this is pretty much designed, as the creator said, to get added on to any of your creations so that you will always get a hit on target. Now, let's check out this advanced one. This advanced one apparently has a lot more settings and a lot more cool features on it. I'm very interested to see how this one works. So we're going to go and jump on it. And straight away, we've got travel time, distance, zoom and tilt. Ooh, tilt. Okay. So let's go and uh, I guess we're, we're going to aim up here. Let's go and fire here. You can see the gun's already elevated itself. Uh, let's zoom in, which is four. Couple rounds down range. Whoa, the Corsair is moving. Interesting, is that accounting? Oh, that's accounting for the tilt. Hmm, okay. So if I was to tilt it back, 
up tilt at level, have a look at that. The crosshair actually moves on my screen. So now we should be hitting here. <gasps> that is very cool. That is really cool. So that's accounting for your tilt of your vehicle. Very interesting. That is nice, isn't it? That's much more fancier than mine. Very cool. Go and aim it again to the right. Let's go a little bit further. Oh, so we're going to hit there, apparently. Let's go and zoom out a bit. Should be hitting there. Now, I would maybe like to see the crater move the, the actual laser with the crosshair. But, I mean, that's still pretty cool, isn't it? Uh, let's go and bring our tilt back to pretty much center, pretty much. Uh, and let's see how far we can actually push this thing. I mean, I don't know what the maximum range of this gun is. Uh, it's been a while since I've looked at all the stats, but oh, I doubt it's... Okay, yeah, let's let's do like... That's probably even too more far. Uh, I guess let's try that. Uh, let's... Is that going to hit target? Almost, almost. I think we went past the maximum range of this gun. So let's see if we can do... What is the maximum range? We're going to find out, aren't we? Can it go that far? So that's what, 2,500? So let's go and see that. Oh yeah, spot on target. That's really cool. So this can this can really help you if you want to add these onto your own creations, especially if you're fighting against the enemy AI and you want to stay quite far away. This is very useful. Very, very, very useful. So let's bring this back into one of the workbenches and let's see what type of settings we have. All right, so now we're in the workbench. Let's take a look at these settings that we have on these controllers. So you can see here we can change the actual controller depending on what gun we're using. So if we're using a rotary, we can change it. If we're using heavy um, auto cannon, if we're using machine gun, you can change it. Now, of course, see what this does will go and change the statistics of each one of the weapons. So each weapon in Stormwax has a different velocity, a different drag, a different lifetime, a different gravity to each one of those. So that's why you have to select this. Now at the moment we have no way to read what weapons we have, so the creator can't obviously get this automatic. It's a little manual process. I mean, it's pretty easy to go and do that. Uh, one thing I am quite interested in is, if I remember correctly, I could be wrong here, but I think depending on the weapon or the ammo type you use, uh, you will see different velocities and things, if I'm correct. I mean, I could be wrong. Um, and the same thing goes with the barrel extensions. I don't know if that increases or decreases the velocity. I could be completely wrong here, but I just remember hearing something about that. But anyway, besides that, this is a really cool little calculator and a little bit of thing that you can add onto your creation. I mean, it's really small. All you need is a laser sensor and a tilt sensor, and you're pretty much good to go. So this is really cool, and I'd love to see uh, some, maybe some more things from this crater uh, being added onto this, maybe even more advanced one. Uh, but yeah, I can't wait to see what else the crater's got up his sleeve for this. So guys, if you want to check out this creation, I will leave it linked in the video description. Go give some love to the creator. The creator has designed this for you to use in your own creations. Uh, just go give some credit to him if you do use it. Obviously, I'm sure... This took a little bit of time to go and do, so go give some love to him. Uh, besides that, if you have enjoyed my video, make sure you hit that like button and the subscribe button if you're not missing my future content. And until the next one, we'll see you then.